I write women's history, and I didn't know the stories of the Hello Girls. I thought I knew a lot about the First World War and what was going on, but I'd never heard of these women. All of the things that we have today could come back down to those, those few women who served our country. All telephone calls required at least one human being, one telephone operator. At the beginning of the 20th century, that women had really made this occupation their own. Uh, within a few months, Pershing put out the order and he said to, uh, to the U.S. War Department, I want women telephone operators, I want them uniformed. And, uh, and they all were trained in different locales by AT&T. They wanted to get to as close to the front lines as possible. This was exciting. It was obviously a very serious job, but they just wanted to be in it. When you go into the trench with your little magneto, you could save a whole battalion. You know, they thought the war was gonna last another 10 years. And that it, it had gone on so long, and then to suddenly stop at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. And when they came home, they were told, you were never soldiers. She said, I never saw such a dark look of despair on a young person's face. I'll never forget it till the end of my days. When the Army wrote their regulations, they wrote it to say that veterans' benefits go to a man. One word cost them 60 years. <laughs>